morning. Today I have the classic old tale of band kids getting bullied by jocks. However, in this case, the band kids triumphed. Kind of. Um, I don't know. It's, it's a crazy story. But before we get into it, make sure that you click that subscribe button, ring that liberty bell, and click that like button. This story comes from Lee Rudnicki's Seven Thoughts blog. Link to the original story will be in the description. So this story is told from Lee's perspective. He currently works as an entertainment lawyer and producer, and he was in the Crossman drumline during this 1984 happening. Lee also asked that I leave the link to his book, Tale of a Drumline, which is about his experiences in the 1993 Santa Clara Vanguard drumline. So Lee had some bad experiences with jocks during his time in high school band. In his particular school, the jocks would just pick on the band kids 24 seven. They were just mean to them all the time for no reason. I guess it was just not cool to be in band. This is kind of a stock problem with band kids. You know, those jocks, they think they're all tough and cool and decide to bully the band kids. Although I never really had this problem when I was in high school. I guess it's just because I'm super tough and awesome. I'm just kidding, I was a total band nerd. I don't know, maybe my school's football team was just like super nice for some reason. Honestly, I kind of think it's like a product of the time. Back in the 1980s, bullying was not really seen as, as big of an issue as it should have been, so that probably has a lot to do with it. So fast forwarding to 1984, Lee is now a member of the Crossman Drum and Bugle Corps snare line. They are having a great season so far and they think they have a good shot at making the top 12 DCI finals. On Tuesday, July 31st, 1984, there is a DCI show in Parkersburg, West Virginia. The Crossmen finished in a very strong second place at this show. So they're feeling real good about themselves, all right? They just had a great show. They scored really well. They think they have a good shot at getting into finals and they're ready to move on to their next show. So next they have a bus ride to Dayton, Ohio. And before the bus leaves, a bunch of the Crossmen members go into a local convenience store to grab some snacks, okay? You always need snacks when you're on the bus. It's very important. So as some of the members of the Crossmen were in this convenience store, a bunch of high school jocks come in there acting all tough, calling them band nerds, all this stuff, just being super annoying and bullying the crap out of them for no reason. So these Crossman members, they pay for their food, they leave the convenience store, and they get on the bus ready to leave, still kind of pissed off about these jocks calling them out. So as this bus is pulling out past this convenience store, they see all these jocks like standing around in the parking lot, and the Crossmen all lean outside the windows of their bus and start flipping off these jocks and screaming curses at them and just letting them have it, all right? They deserve it. They were rude. So it was pretty funny, it was a good time, it was real silly, but then the bus stops at a stoplight right next to the convenience store. And of course, these jocks, they're not gonna put up with this. So one of the jocks, this big dude, he walks up to the bus and he sees one of the baritone players is still leaning out the window. This dude just freaking slugs him right in the face. That dude goes falling back into the bus and everyone is in shock. They're like, did that just really happen? There's no way that just happened. But this confusion is immediately followed by straight up rage and anger. And all of the crossmen just start running off the bus and just attack these jocks. And then the members on the other crossman bus see this happening and they get off and start attacking the jocks. There's power in numbers, people, okay? This was like a hundred band kids versus maybe like 10 to 15 jocks. We had it in the bag. So this full out riot ensues. There's people getting punched, getting kicked, getting beat up. It's crazy. People's inner ninja are being released. And that big dude that threw the first punch, he's laying on the ground, completely knocked out cold. So now the jocks are retreating. They're running away into the neighborhood. There's band kids chasing them, drummers wielding drumsticks like they're weapons. It was insane. One guy got in his car to try to drive away and ended up crashing into a light pole in the convenience store parking lot. So then the Crossman staff bus pulls up and the staff is furious. They get off the bus and start screaming at the members to get their butts back on the bus immediately. Probably in harsher words than that. So they round up everyone, they're back on the bus and the convoy just speeds off into the night. And that's the end of it. Or is it? <laughs> So the crossmen are driving along on their merry way when all of a sudden they hear this glass shatter outside of the bus window and they look and they realize the jocks have come back in their muscle cars and are throwing beer bottles out of the car and hitting the side of the bus. So the war is back on. People start grabbing drumsticks and throwing them out the window at the jocks. They're grabbing trash. They're grabbing Gatorade bottles that were not filled with Gatorade. They're filled with 
something else. <laughs> so after these uh, Gatorade and Big Gulp bottles filled with a mystery liquid that could be anything got thrown, the, the jocks decided to retreat for good, all right? They turned around and went away. Now keep in mind, this was 1984, so there was no cell phones. Not everyone had a camera at their convenience. If something like this happened today, that would just be disastrous for everyone, okay? You know, everyone would be recording this crap on their phones. It would go viral, and it could be the end of the activity of drum corps as we know it. So fortunately, no one was seriously injured in the Crossman. I don't know about the jocks. Uh, Lee doesn't really talk about that in the vlog. Um, Cause yeah, that one guy crashed his car and there was another dude like laying in the street knocked out. Uh, yeah, I don't think it really ended well for those people. So the Crossman went on to finish out their tour successfully. They made it into DCI finals with a 10th place finished. Good job there. So Lee goes on to say that uh, he does not condone violence in any way. Like don't take this story as something that you should try to re create all right this was you know crazy and bad and they could have all got arrested and they also could have like seriously hurt or killed someone but this was a huge triumph for lee at this point in his life okay he was always picked on as a kid by the jocks and this time he won the band kids triumph So that's the end of the story. Compose a comment and let me know what you think about it. And also compose another comment if you have a wild and wacky drum corps or marching band related story. Maybe I'll tell it in a future video if it's crazy enough. And also don't forget to click that subscribe button, ring that liberty bell, and click that like button. And also consider buying a custom t-shirt such as this one. I will leave that link in the description. And have a good morning.